Hi everyone, my name is Ayana and this is Ice Wolves channel. This video is for those who would like to come to our camp and don't know where to start with. Go to our webpage and go to the registration section. Here you need to fill in the application form. Please pay attention to your contact details. We need you to submit your actual email address and correct telephone number. So in, in case of necessity, we are able to contact you. For those parents who would like to accompany their children to our camp, we offer $2.99 for one week in the camp. And this price includes accommodation and three meals a day. If you like to use this offer, please tick this box. Here, you can also order transfer. If you are sending your child alone to our camp, we recommend that you order transfer with us. This way we can meet your child at the airport, bring him or her to our camp and return him or her back after the camp is finished. After you filled in the application form, please press the button submit and pay. You'll be forwarded to the payment page. This is where you pay an advance payment. Advance payment is 100 euro for each person coming to the camp. It means that if you're coming alone or you are sending your child alone, you will pay only 100 euro as advance. But if you would like to accompany your child, the advance payment will be increased accordingly. If you are not sure if your transfer was successful, please do not hesitate to contact us. I will leave all the contact information down below in the description box. Uh, write us an email or call us and we'll check out if your money has been through. After we receive your application form and advance payment, we will send you a confirmation of the registration. You are almost ready to go. It is important to bear in mind that your first training will occur on your arrival day. It means that if you, for example, booked your camp from the 5th till 11th of March, your training will occur on the 5th of March at around 5 p.m. This time I vary from camp to camp, but it is usually around 5 p.m. So it is better if you arrive to the camp by 3 or 2 p.m. So you have enough time to rest and look around. And the last but not least, make sure that your insurance covers sporting accidents. Nothing usually happens during the camp, but in this case, it is better to be on the safe side. This is all for today. Uh, if you like this video, give us the thumbs up. If you have questions to this video, please leave them in the comments down below. In the description box, you will find all the contact details. I hope to see you soon in our camp and have a nice day. Bye.